Hello everybody, welcome to my craft room. Today I'm joining in on a collab that's been organised by uh, Little Spaceman Paper Crafts um, over on YouTube. Um, Donna's doing this collab and we're going to be uploading a video on the first of every month. There's 14 people taking part in it, I think, up to now. And I'll just give you a quick idea what's involved. Um, we're allowed to use basic materials, i.e. glue, cardstock, stamps paper cutter um, and then each month Donna adds three things into that list that we can choose or use all three or one or whatever to make a project with. So this month we've got the basic staples and this month Donna's chosen sequins, flowers and foam tape. Okay so I'm going to get straight into my video. I'm going to be making a card today and I'm going to be starting off and I've got a 6x6 six six base card and I've cut myself a piece of this pink cardstock. I'm just going to use my distress tool and I'm just going to distress this cardstock up a little bit. Just right round the edge. Yeah I thought it'd be fun to take part so what will happen is um, I'll leave a list of all the other people taking part in my description so it'd be absolutely lovely if you'd go along and watch the rest of the videos show everybody some support i'm sure there'll be a variety of different projects we're all different individuals aren't we and, and craft in different ways so it'd be interesting to watch i'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else comes up with as well okay so i'm going to start on by matting this piece of card that i've just distressed onto my base card and as you can see i'm just using some wet glue Okay, so we'll put this piece down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just go that way. So I've cut it just as you can see with a little bit of a white board. Next, I've got a piece of this lovely mustardy coloured pattern paper. I'll show you the pattern paper pads that I chose to use today. I've got this one here. This is a design pad from the works. This was £2. Give you a quick flip through. And this has got some lovely love that one lovely papers in so I've chosen that one there as you can see and then we've got them there and then the other one I've chosen to use is this design pad this is from I think it was from the works craft sensations and this was a pound and again this has got these nice nice papers in okay so they're the two pads I've chosen to use and again I'm going to use my distress tool and I'm going to distress this piece of pattern paper And it's, I think this one feels quite thick actually. What does it sell me? What GSM? 200 GSM. So it's a nice thickness to, to use the distress chill with. Sometimes when the paper's that thin paper, it doesn't, it just rip. So again, I'm going to mat this piece onto my pink piece. And I'm just sort of building up the layers within my card. Next, I've got a piece of this pink paper. Again, it was from one of them pads. I'm going to rip around this piece just to rugged it up a little bit. All round. So that's that piece. And I've also got a piece of the, the mustard paper. And I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm just going to rip around the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this ink because I don't really like the white edges on this paper here. And I'm just going to get one of my little sponge dobbers out here. And I'm just going to go around the edge with this black, black ink. I'm not bothered if I go over onto the paper, that's absolutely fine. I'm just grunging it up that little bit, as you can see. And I'm going to stick these onto my cardstock. I'm going to stick that one there, and then I'm going to stick that one just sort of down the middle there. So I'm going to flat stick them. I'm quite looking forward to watching everybody's um, videos. So I'm just going to stick that one just down the middle there. OK, 
Okay, so you can see I've just sort of grunged that card up quite a little bit there. Next, I've chosen my flowers. I've just got a selection here of some pink and yellow flowers. And I'm going to use my foam pads that I'm allowed to use with this one. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a floral arrangement. Let's just pop them over here. And these foam pads just fit nicely just inside these big ones. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my big yellow ones and I'm just going to do a little bit of a cluster down in this corner here. So. It is nice to challenge yourself sometimes and I think this is a really good way, like Donna said, of trying to use it. You know, think about what you're using, use more of your stuff that you have in your stash and and, uh, and use it that way rather than keep, keep buying things that we don't necessarily need if you're anything like I am. I'm sure we're all the same. It's a, it's a slight addiction crafting really, you do want everything that you see. Well, sometimes it's not possible, is it? You know, sometimes we have to draw the line somewhere and just use what we've got in our stash. So like you can see there, I've just done that little cluster of flowers. Okay, so next I'm gonna put some of the little flowers and I'm gonna just add them just in the top right hand corner. So I've just cut some little foam pads in half to put these on with. I'm gonna just stick my pink one just there and then a yellow one either side. just down there and then I'm going to stamp a sentiment and I've got the two pieces of paper that I've used this one here and the pink one here and I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto the yellow piece so I'm just going to use my stamp perfect a little note to myself in there okay so I'm just going to use a stamp from this stamp set here this is an apple blossom one and it's called Floral Frames and I'm going to use the one that says flowers can't solve all problems but they're a great start. Just thought that would be quite nice with the flowers that I've used. I haven't actually used this stamp set. This was one of the ones I bought from Craft Splash in the sale. Um, yeah, I got some fantastic bargains from there. I think this one was £1.04. pence. got some really lovely products from there. And I'm just going to put it in the middle there. So I'm going to use my Versafine again. I'm going to press down. And I'm just going to go over that again. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rip around here the way I've done with my other papers. I'll just cut around it a little bit first to make it a little bit smaller to rip. I'm just going to rip around here and again I'm going to put some black ink just around the edge of the sentiment And then I'm going to stick this onto a piece of this pink patterned paper and I'm going to use some foam pads to do that. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on there and then I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to rip around this piece, leaving a bit of a bigger border. A little bit down here. I'm going to go around again using my sponge dabber. So that looks really grunged up now, doesn't it? So I'm going to sit this just here in the middle of my card, and again, I'm going to use some little foam pads. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that just on a 
a little bit of a jaunty angle and I'm just going to dab over these flowers a little bit just to grunge these up just so it ties in with the rest of the card that sort of grungy looking Okay, and then to finish off with, I am going to use some sequins. So I'm going to use my little fine tip applicator and I'm just going to put some, just some glue in random places to stick some sequins onto. I love this tool, it's a great tool. Okay. Yeah, so I have enjoyed um, making this card, sharing this card with you. So like I said, I'll leave a link in the description and please go and take a look at everybody else's video. Show everybody a little bit of support. That would be really lovely. So there we go then, guys. There's my card for this three-in-one collaboration. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to watch. And I'll be back soon. So thank you. Bye. Bye.